Hi people, it's Tuesday. I don't normally go live on Tuesday, but I figured I'd go live while I was feeling some type of way. Uh, oh. Anyways, so I'm not a very happy person right now, okay? I just went to dinner and when I left the restaurant, not saying Val, I did this to my vehicle by any means. But when I left the restaurant, I had a flat tire. So I'm just curious to know as to how do I drive in with all my tires totally okay and then drive out with one back left tire like totally out. Like at a freaking, what up Josh? I like a freaking like on a 33, like whatever the PSI thing is and the back left tire is at a 14. Okay, now let me just give you a little background story on this. First of all, I am gonna say one good thing about this. Peter did his speech, which we worked very, very diligently on and he got a really good grade. Okay, it makes me happy. All right. Hi. Okay, so anyways. Okay, when I was growing up, in my days, okay, we didn't grow up with much money, okay? So we grew up, me, aka, my parent, my dad had a Beretta, and I think my mom had, I don't know, it was like a Nissan, okay? So anyways, they live paycheck to paycheck. I'm sure if she got on here, she'd be pissed I even said that. But anyways, we, <laughs> so we worked our asses off for all these years, right? And so, you know, it's, it's, it's good that we can, you know, have something nice for ourselves because we don't do anything nice for ourselves, right? So, you know, a few years back, we decided, okay, we're gonna go out and get a Mercedes. Now, granted, before I got the Mercedes with John, um, <sighs> you know, I had the Malibu before, I think the 300 before the Mercedes, the, the Malibu. Hey, then the, oh, it's John. <laughs> then the Malibu, and before the Malibu, it was, I don't know. It was like a neon, okay? Because I worked at Suncoast Ford. He also has 300. He That's has irrelevant. Room. That's before dad days, okay? <laughs> now, prior in these prior vehicles, okay, there were no flat tires. So here's my question. Of all things, oh my God. I just want to know, how is it possible that you have this expensive ass vehicle, right? with these expensive ass tires and these expensive ass brakes and everything is super expensive. But yet, 60 days ago, I'm driving on the highway and boom, pull a tire out, I guess it blew a tire on the highway. Okay, John, I call him up, he's driving behind me because he's always driving behind me. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I got a flat, what do I do? Oh my God, oh my God, I need to pull over on the side of the road, I don't know what to do, okay? This is, I'm like freaking out because I've never like got a flat before. So I don't know what to do, right? So anyways, this is a great story. So he's telling me while I'm on the, on the highway, he's like, relax, relax, you have run flats. I'm like, run flats? I'm like, what the hell is a run flat? And he's like, it means you could drive all the way home in it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You should see this gauge, it's telling me the tire is flat, it's going down like every single second. Every single second it's going down from like 18. Now it's at 17 and 16 and 15. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so anyways, he pulls over, right? And he's driving the Corvette behind me. He pulls over and he's like, all right, fine. You don't feel comfortable driving this vehicle. Just get out, I'll drive the, I'll drive the Mercedes home, you drive the Corvette. I'm like, that, that makes me feel so much better about the situation, right? So anyways, he drives home the Corvette, long story short, and then I learned how, what a run flat was, because at the time, you know, you don't, I guess, I don't know, you don't normally put a run flat on like a Malibu or, or like a, I guess a neon or whatever. So I learned what a run flat was that day and know that I could ride out on a, on a broke tire for like, you know, a hot little minute. But anyways, I just wanna know, how is it that 60 days later, on these expensive tires, I end up with a nail in my back left tire. Ooh. I just wanna know, I just, it's so irritating. I just even wrote my Mercedes guy and I'm like, I don't understand. How do I have this expensive ass car with these expensive ass tires and it can't even make it through 60 days without getting a freaking problem with the tire? This is a problem. 
reason why it's a problem is because I drove other vehicles in construction areas with tons of nails everywhere going 80 miles per hour I and I have never gotten nails and flat tires. So I want to understand what in the hell is wrong with Mercedes tires. She's getting salty. A little bit. <gasps> Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <laughs> you know, you like, you expect, I mean, you expect nice things when you spend a lot of money. So I'm just curious to know, how does this happen? You know, like, I just want to know. It just makes me so upset. And I figured I'd share that with you guys. And I normally don't go live on a Tuesday, but I figured I'd go ahead and I'd go live on a Tuesday to let you guys know that 90 days ago, I did not know what a run flat was. Now I know what a run flat was today, right? I have a nail on my back tire. And I mean, who wants to drive in a rental vehicle? No one. It is not your vehicle. All your stuff is outside the vehicle. You don't have your garage open or you have nothing. It sucks. I'm very upset about this. This is not okay. Everybody else out there is driving a Nissan and all these other cool vehicles, you know, neons and, and 300s and everything, and they're not getting freaking flats every freaking five seconds. This is super irritating. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, I decided to come home and Peter was awake, even though his bedtime's at 10 p.m. So yeah. I wanna know why you're awake. Why are you awake? Because I waited for you. Aww. So yeah, it's a little irritating when you get home like this late at night, you get in your car and boom, back left tire at a 14. Boom, boom, going down to a 12. This is not okay. Mercedes, fix your shit. I'm done with this for tonight. Hi, Joe. I definitely think that um, if you're gonna spend this much money on a vehicle, you definitely have some good tires. So we'll discuss this with Mercedes tomorrow, okay? And you guys do understand, I have a very limited amount of time, hence the reason my frustrations is this high. Neil, I was just talking about this thing. Hi, Uncle Neil. About how I have this like really nice car and I've gotten two busted ass <laughs> tires in a matter of under 90 days. I mean, Neil, when's the last time you got a freaking flat tire? I'm so upset. She get real salty. <sighs> okay, real I'm done. Salty. <laughs> All right, Jay. Hi, Jay. Okay, love you guys. I can't talk any longer. The vein is coming out in the middle of my head. It's that been a very good. long Tuesday. I figured I'd share this with you because I was very, very feeling some type of way about this very nice vehicle of mine not being able to withstand uh, highway conditions. Yes. Okay. Um, anyways, whatever, Jay. <laughs> I don't drive crazy. You know you love me. And my driving is better than fast and furious. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Too fast, too tight. <laughs> too fast, too tight. Okay, anyways, I gotta go, guys, so I can, like, get some sleep and then, you know, contact Mercedes in the morning. Oh. Much love to you. I'll see you later. True soapbox for you tonight. See ya.